I am Dr. Vaseem Sajad and today we will learn what is vein of Galen aneurysmal malformation. Actually this terminology is a misnomer because in vein of Galen aneurysmal malformation there is no malformation and there is no aneurysmal malformation. What is vein of Galen aneurysmal malformation? It is basically a cerebral arteriovenous fistula between the median prosencephalic vein and the choroidal arteries. Now we need to know what is median prosencephalic vein, how the fistula between the choroidal arteries and the median prosencephalic vein occurs and why it is called vein of Galen aneurysmal malformation. Median prosencephalic vein is basically the fetal precursor of vein of Galen. And what is vein of Galen? Vein of Galen is a vein inside the brain which is formed by two pairs of veins, internal cerebral veins and basal veins of Rizanthal. These two pairs of veins form the vein of Galen and the vein of Galen drains into the confluence of straight sinus and inferior sagittal sinus. So median prosencephalic vein is the precursor of vein of Galen and during the fetal life in 6 to 11 weeks of gestation, the fistulous communication between the choroidal arteries and the median prosencephalic vein are choroidal arteries are those arteries which are supplying the brain parenchyma of the fetal tissue and the fetus brain which are choroidal arteries are those arteries which are supplying the brain parenchyma of the fetus. When the fistulous communication between the choroidal arteries and the precursor of vein of Galen, which is called median prosencephalic vein. When fistulous communication between the choroidal arteries and the median prosencephalic vein occurs, there is dilatation of the median prosencephalic vein. And this dilatation increases with age because there is high flow and there is increased flow inside the median prosencephalic vein, which is a precursor of the vein of Galen. And in the adult life, when we image a person with vein of Galen aneurysmal malformation, it appears on the image as there is malformation of the vein of Galen and there is abnormal dilatation of the vein of Galen. And we name it as aneurysmal malformation of the vein of Galen, but actually it is a fistulous communication between the choroidal arteries and the median prosencephalic vein, which is a precursor of the vein of Galen. And due to this fistulous communication, this vein of Galen appears dilated, appeared malformed and appear aneurysmal. So it is called vein of Galen aneurysmal malformation.